Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So they have arrested somebody um, in connection to the death, the murder, gruesome murder, murder of the tech CEO, Gokata CEO, Fahim Salah. And he was pictured there. The story's been in the news since, since, since Tuesday, since it was, his body was discovered by his sister around 3.30 p.m. in his apartment, you know, dismembered, his head cut off, his limbs cut off. And so forth, you know, and a variety of details have been put out there in the meantime, you know, uh, kind of further describing what may have happened. Uh, an assailant getting on the elevator with him, dressed in all like a, a, a black suit, you know, but like like a suit and tie, I guess, with, some, with a hoodie, with some kind of jacket that provided a hoodie, I think, and a mask and so forth, you know, gloves, getting in, with a, in, in the elevator with a case on. Anyways, um, so he's been, he's been, he's been identified and they've even provided a little bit of a motive possibly, um, the New York Times has, they definitely have the scoop on this. His name is Tyrese Devin Haspel. He's 21 years old and it appears that he was his personal assistant, you know, I guess, uh, in his various business ventures or for Gokata, one or, you know, one or the other, uh, he's either, you know, named as his like chief of staff and personal assistant. So there are a few photos of him just from his own social media page. That's his from Facebook. And, uh, you know, that's all there is on his Facebook page, as well as a Instagram account that has him, which is, this is in North Jersey. And that's uh, Tyrese Haspel. But his name is Tyrese D. Haspel. That's Ty Tyrese Devin Haspel. That's, 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 that's the individual. So, um, but it says detectives believe that the motive for killing stemmed from Mr. Saleh having discovered that the assistant had sold, stolen tens of thousands of dollars from him, despite the fact that Mr. Saleh had not reported the man and had set up a, what amounted to a repayment payment plan for him to return the money, one of the officials said. Police were expected to announce the arrest at a news conference on Friday. Investigators have also con uh, concluded that Mr. Saleh was killed on Monday, the day before his body was found, and that the killer used his employer's his employer's credit card to pay for a car to uh, for a car to a Home Depot for a car to a Home Depot on West 23rd Street in Manhattan to buy oh to pay for an Uber to take him to Home Depot to pay for to to buy cleaning supplies to sanitize the crime scene. The official said the killer returned to Mr. Saleh's apartment the next day to dismember the body and clean up the crime scene. So, you know the notion of him. Um, Waiting 24 hours in order to for the blood to coagulate, that's probably just incidental. It's not, he didn't do that at all. He was just, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's so, it's so obviously bizarre that somebody, you know, who was offering him a way out to repay the money he had stolen for him, I guess he just didn't, I don't know, who knows, you know, didn't want to repay it or couldn't repay it or whatever. Uh, it's just crazy. Or he thought the, uh, that he was eventually going to find out more that he had stolen from him and go to the place. Who knows? You know, it's just, it's just bizarre. Detectives believe that the killer dressed in a black uh, three-piece suit wearing a black mask and carrying a duffel bag followed Mr. Saleh off an elevator in his building and into his apartment, a law enforcement official said. He used a taser to immobilize Mr. Saleh and then stabbed him to death. Security video taken from inside the elevator shows the killer later using a battery-operated portable vacuum cleaner in an apparent effort to remove any traces of his presence. New York City's medical examiner announced on Thursday that Mr. Saleh had died from multiple stab wounds to his neck. You know, it's obviously just, uh, it's just terrible, just a shame, and, you know, so senseless, you know, for, for some money and, and so forth. And now this guy's life is completely over. His family's devastated permanently. So, but they have arrested an, uh, an individual. There's just not, I mean, this is brand new, brand new being breaking right now, and, uh, you know, um, they had, uh, there was a story out there earlier that they had ID'd ID a person of interest, that it was somebody that w had worked for him or worked for him before his death. So it was working for him up until his, his death and that he wasn't in custody yet. It was only a matter of time before I think they, you know, he, did, he was in custody and now he is, you know. <clears throat> so a little more info over at the New York Post. It says um, the entrepreneur, 33 years old, uh, Sal Salim, uh, Fahim Salah, Learned that Haspel allegedly swiped $100,000 from him, but instead of ratting him out to authorities, he brokered a repayment plan with the younger man. But at some point, Haspel allegedly reneged on the deal, 
This was an act of charity that turned into an act of murder, the source said. Saleh's body was discovered Tuesday by a concerned citizen who hadn't heard from him in days. It's been reported that it was his cousin, that it was his sister. Most for most outlets reported it as his sister. So he, he allegedly stole $1,000 uh, for him. Haspel worked, for Saleh's chief, uh, worked as Saleh's chief of staff at his venture at Venture Capital but acted as his personal assistant, too. Adventure Capital is the venture venture capital firm that he founded, basically, you know, um, to invest in, you know, it, um, it was involved in other startups as well as, you know, things that have been successful and was make, investing in uh, new new startups in other countries. I saw in Colombia, a ride-sharing f- firm as well as Gokata, which he was heavily, heavily involved in, and I think heavily invested. And so his, he was his chief of staff there. I noticed yesterday that his uh, his LinkedIn account had been taken down for some reason, and I, I couldn't understand why. Normally, the authorities can't do that, or LinkedIn doesn't do it, and it usually takes some time before, months before, you know, authorities gain access to accounts and stuff like that. All his other accounts were up, but this one was taken down, you know, and normally a personal assistant would have access to that, you know, would manage some of his social media, or at least his business social media, anyways, whether or not his, social, his personal assistant, the person who's been arrested and is accused of brutally killing him um did that i don't know but this uh the individual has been arrested and there's still there's not a ton of info out there he just doesn't have much social media even on his facebook account there's nothing there other than his profile picture and a picture of like the brooklyn bridge or the one of the bridges in new york city so as uh, uh as his uh, uh, uh cover photo or whatever that header photo Anyways, that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I will uh, see you in the next video. Later, man.